morning everyone thanks for joining in today today i'm going to talk about a very important condition in men called epididymitis to understand what epididymitis is we need to look at the anatomy of the testicle and the tubes around the testicle so in the blue i have drawn this oblong structure which is the testicle in the testicle there are a number of tiny tubules or tubes which take the sperm from the testicle they run down the testicle the sperm and from the testicle they go into a tube which i have drawn in red just outside the testicle that is called the epididymis all men can feel a little bump in the back of the testicle that is the epididymis which i have drawn in red over here the sperm will go down the epididymis and from the epididymis it will go into this green tube which i have drawn which is the main duct called the vas deferens which takes the sperm from the testicle into the epididymis from the epididymis into the vas deferens and this tube will take it to the genitals for fertility epididymitis as the name suggests is inflammation or infection of the epididymis Sometimes epididymitis can happen on its own without affecting the testicle at other times the two go hand in hand so with epididymitis some men can also get infection or inflammation of the testicle called orchitis so that condition is called epididymo orchitis but today we just going to focus on the epididymis the commonest cause of this infection is sexually transmitted diseases the commonest bacteria involved are chlamydia and gonorrhea if somebody develops sexually transmitted disease which results in epididymitis or or even orchitis then that person's sexual partners should also be tested for sexually transmitted infection as these infections are highly contagious they can transmit from one person to the other quite easily other cause like urinary tract infection can also cause epididymitis however not as common because men usually don't get urinary tract infection that easily viral infection like mumps can cause epididymo orchitis and also infection with tuberculosis or tb can cause epididymitis any surgery around the genitals like the prostate surgery or surgery on the bladder or the testicle can also transmit infection into this area and cause epididymitis injury to the scrotum can result in epididymitis and certain drugs like amiodarone which is given for heart conditions can sometime also result in inflammation of the epididymis what are the symptoms of epididymitis how the patients present what problems do the patients get The main symptom they get is pain and swelling of the scrotum. It can be present on one side or both sides. So if infection is limited to one side only, then one side of the scrotum will be painful and swollen. Whereas if it's present on both sides, which is not unusual with this condition, then it might be present on both sides. Usually starts very slowly, gradually and eventually the pain gets very bad after a few days and the swelling gets worse as well they also get fever because it's an infection in most patients they also get swollen glands in the groin or in the armpit or even in the neck they sometimes also get discharge from the penis the discharge is usually either very pussy in color yellow in color or even green in color especially if it's because of gonorrhea how is epididymitis diagnosed the diagnosis is reasonably straightforward examination of the scrotum in the testicle will show the testicle is swollen and quite painful to touch especially the epididymis is quite painful to touch if in doubt that whether this is because of infection or because of the twist on the testicle for which you can watch my previous videos as well then an ultrasound scan will quickly confirm the diagnosis to see what is causing the infection which kind of bacteria is causing the infection urinary test for infection and also testing the discharge from the penis for 
certain type of infection like sexually transmitted infections will confirm the diagnosis. Main treatment for epididymitis is antibiotics. Painkillers like paracetamol or anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen will help control the discomfort, pain and even reduce the swelling. If the pain is quite severe, then cold compresses with ice cubes wrapped in a tea towel or something against the scrotum will help. And also a supporting underwear like Y fronts rather than boxer shorts will be more beneficial. Avoid sex to avoid transmission of infection to other individuals. The main complication that can happen with epididymitis if it's not treated early enough or infections keep happening time and time again, then infertility can happen. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, I shall see you very soon. Take care.